Hey there, people. Uh, I woke up in the morning. I'm so excited to cover this specific topic. I haven't even showered yet, so if I look like uh, if I look like crap, that's why. Um, so listen, we're we're kind of addressing a split audience here because I know if you watch me, you're already based in Redfield, and you know uh, a lot of what I'm about to tell you. But stick with me here. So for those of you who aren't um, gamers. There's a particular term that is used to describe a live streamer's first playthrough through a game. Not just a first playthrough, but a first playthrough that is uninformed by any spoilers or guides or walkthroughs. And that's called a blind playthrough, or a blind run. Or I guess there are a lot of terms for it, but that's the common one. Blind playthrough. And um, it's fun to watch a blind playthrough because you get a very different experience, you know. Most playthroughs of a horror game are blind because, you know, the spooks and the scares and the frights work best when you haven't been informed by them, uh, on them by a guide, uh, or haven't played the game before. Um, but then you can play some streamers and they, they're like, they've been playing Dark Souls 3 for four consecutive years. And at this point they can play the game literally blind with their blindfolded, uh, which is actually not a blind run. It's very confusing. But anyway... So the term has been blind playthrough for God knows how long. And recently, uh, Twitch.tv, the premier game streaming site. No, we kept the, the chat. Go away. Okay, good. We got rid of him. Uh, has removed the term blind playthrough following criticism from gamers with disabilities. Now, um, some thoughts on this. Uh, it's led to a bit of a backlash because removing the term blind playthrough because it's ableist or offensive to people with visual disabilities kind of sounds like an Onion article. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be like, uh, we've, uh, yeah, we're, we're no longer going to be calling paved surfaces walkways because that's offensive to people who skid over them with wheelchairs or some crap like that. It sounds like a joke, but it's real. You can kind of see the community backlash evidenced here in the embedded tweet. 1.5k likes, 4.4k people talking about it. I'm sure if we go here, this is going to be a, a bastion of nuanced discussion uh, on the subject. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can kind of guess how it all went down. Um, and I'm actually on the side of the people irritated for a reason I'm about to explain. But before I get to that, listen up. If you're a conservative and you're watching this, because I'm sure I have some inflammatory title up thrown up there. If you're a conservative and you're watching this, please. I am very much on the left, but please listen. Okay? Because I don't like this either. See, my issue with this isn't that it's sensitive... Uh, to blind people or whatever. I think it's great to be sensitive to people with disabilities. I think that's lovely. The issue here is, I don't think anyone wanted this. I really don't think like anyone wanted this. And when I look towards the necessity of being sensitive to those with disabilities, I prefer to focus on things that actually affect their lives. So this is a bit of a bold statement for me to make. I'm going to make it confidently anyway. As somebody who's well, I guess I'm, I, I mean, is it a disability to have shit vision? I don't know. Does this, I'm not legally blind, but I, my vision is pretty bad. But I can see with glasses. Listen, uh, nobody has ever been hurt by the term blind playthrough. I can say that with great confidence. Like, it, it, no material harm has been done to the world. And removing it from this world, from Twitch TV, does no good. It adds no utility to the world. So it's kind of like a net neutral, right? Well, no. To me, it's almost a negative. And the reason for that is because the term often misused, virtue signaling. I don't like it when corporations pander. I don't like it when corporations do woke shit um, because it makes me feel like they're saving up good boy points for a future backlash. There are other people who have commented on this too. I know Hassan immediately commented on this. Of course, Hassan is on Twitch TV, uh, and also he streams every day. Uh, so, you know, this course circulates there a little bit faster, but I want to reiterate a point, you know, uh, that he iterated. I'm not saying this is original to me, but I agree with it. 
And that is that when corporations do stuff like this, what they're essentially doing is trying to buy up public goodwill that they can exchange uh, uh, for avoiding a controversy down the line. So the next time a Twitch.tv employee is found to be a sexual predator, or they do some dumb shit with their partner program or rewrite the contract so that while you're live streaming, you're no longer allowed to take bathroom breaks or whatever hellish nightmare world we're heading into, they can, th then the public backlash comes and they can go, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the corporation that stood up against ableism when we removed the term blind playthrough. Are you so sure? about stepping to us right now. That's what virtue signaling really is. See, if we want to use, I guess, virtue signaling in its most ubiquitous definition, like if you want to use it as correctly as possible, basically everything's virtue signaling. When I say, hey there, I'm a socialist and here are my political opinions, I'm literally virtue signaling to you. I believe it is virtuous to be a socialist. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be one. And I'm signaling it to you with language. When I say virtue signaling, though, what I mean is a disingenuous way of getting people to side with you over an irrelevant uh, component of discourse. So imagine you're having a debate about, I don't know, fiscal policy, and one person does this 30-second soliloquy on how they're the party of God and, and, and the Bible and bacon and tits and whatever, you know, like in a political debate. That would be virtue signaling because it has nothing to do with the fiscal policy. It's utterly irrelevant to the discussion. It should be meaningless. What it's meant to do is get people on your side over what is in that context an irrelevant um, sort of, you know, a removal from the situation. So, look, this is not specific to Twitch, okay? Corporations do this all the time. The thing is, corporations will say anything that makes them money. That's the of corporations that's what they do that's literally their only job their pr managers the executives who are uh deciding the direction the company goes like publicly these people don't give a fuck about social progressivism this is the big lie conservatives like to push over and over and over again they act like there are a bunch of crazy blue-haired sjws and corporations who are like um and um from now on, in the cafeteria room, we're going to have separate cafeteria lines for Zizier pronoun people. And this isn't happening. This is not happening. This isn't. Nowhere is this happening. No corporation with billions on the line is going to let their public policy, their, uh, any of it, be dictated by progressivism. These people don't do this. What they do is they care about PR and they care about sales. If they think releasing a new line of toothbrushes specifically for trans youth is going to make them more money, they'll do it. If they believe that releasing uh, a, a new brand of detergent specifically designed for getting Jewish blood off of your knuckles would make them more money, they'll do it. Corporations do not care. They don't care. So when you complain about woke virtue signaling from corporations, and then you also say that corporations have succumbed to progressivism, you're kind of making two mutually exclusive claims, you know? You're saying on one hand that the virtue signaling, they're being disingenuous, they're pandering, and then on the other hand that they're also gripped sincerely by this hyper-progressive tendency. It's not the case. It will always be the case that with corporations, they do what they do for some cynical ulterior reason. It either makes them more money. In Twitch's case, this is probably a way for them to sort of preempt a lot of negative... Uh, attention that Twitch gets for being sort of the purveyor of a clown show. The gaming community is and always will be a hotbed of controversy because it has such a young and volatile community. Um, so doing stuff like this ahead of time, like this whole blind playthrough thing, and now it's called like first time playthrough or whatever, doing stuff like that helps them preempt criticism. And I don't like that because I like it when tr Twitch gets criticized. Because I hate Twitch um, for reasons. And uh, I don't like a lot of other corporations as well. I'm, you might call me uh, anti-corporate, actually. Uh, it's funny. It's sort of a, a part of being a socialist, maybe. Um, anyway, look, if you're a conservative, there are a couple things I want you to keep in mind. 
First of all, this isn't because Twitch is progressive. It's because they have a cynical ulterior motive. Progressives don't care about this either. Okay, that's one. Second of all, please remember that while it is true that the term blind playthrough wasn't doing any harm to like blind people or whatever, removing it also isn't doing any harm to you. You know, like you're not being hurt by this. You're not, your childhood is not being ruined. Uh, you will not look back on this day 60 years from now and cry and clench your fist into little balls as you remember the days yawn past before Twitch ruined this for you. It's fine. It's all fine. What this really is, is kind of like a, a talking point for meaningless culture war discourse, you know? Like, that's, that's what this serves. That's the, that's the function this serves. It's, what are our opinions on this? How do we think this affects society? And me, personally, I think it's kind of dumb, you know? Maybe there are some blind people who actually care about this. Like, they're actually kind of touched by the gesture. I think that's sweet, you know? I don't know if that's a worthwhile... I mean, keep in mind, if you want to listen to every complaint, you can probably find a problem with damn near every component of every, like, ter all terminology, you know? I mean, if you really, really want to run down it, uh, you can probably, yeah, Twitch TOS, now you can't say, dude, that was a crazy speed run or whatever. Speed run? Well, not everyone can walk fast. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's always some dumb thing you can say, but... If anyone's made happy by this decision, I don't know. Whatever. Good luck. Good, good going. You win this round, okay? And this is Twitch TV. Who, who even watches Twitch?